take one look at a map and you'll see the gulf is dry, very dry. There are few natural water sources and what is available is drying up faster than it can be replenished. Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, the United Arab Emirates and Qatar all rely heavily on desalination. That's the process of turning seawater into fresh water. But it takes massive amounts of fossil fuels to do it. And these are thirsty nations. Take Qatar, for example. With its recent population and construction boom, it is now the biggest consumer of water per capita in the world. But it can afford that because it's also the richest country per capita in the world. Desalination is a solution, but it's not perfect and it's not for everyone. It's costly in terms of money and the environment. Over 50 to 60 percent of the world desalination facilities and desalination technologies is deployed in the GCC region. Uh, so the bulk of that technology is in, is in this region because it is expensive and it's not accessible to many poor communities in the world. One of the byproducts of desalination is brine, a concentrated salty water that's often pumped back into the sea. Uh, we have witnessed a lot of uh, incidents around the, re around, uh, the region where we have a lot of dismortalities uh, of the fish and uh, also damaging the coral reefs and so on. The Gulf region is one of the biggest CO2 emitters by population in the world and its water desalination process is one of the reasons. We're not sustainable any anymore. Uh, the desert bloom has to be re-evaluated and, and looking at the whole aspects of, of uh, elements of sustainability. So if I, if I draw lessons from the past, uh, we need to be really careful how we manage our natural resources. But water security is also a matter of national security. If something were to happen to Qatar's desalination plants, there's only enough water to continue supply for around two days. Definitely it leaves it vulnerable. This case is not only for Qatar, but um, almost all the countries in the Gulf region. We are witnessing in the last two years a lot of, uh, the, uh, a lot of revolution in Arab Spring. And if you take a closer look about what happened, you will find the water issues are, are, are one of the co root causes of the uprising. But as these countries continue to grow, so too will the demand on supply. Water is more than just a resource. It's a delicate balance between human needs, the environment, economics, politics and peace. Erica Wood, Al Jazeera, Doha, Qatar.